Ooh, that is really bright. Ooh. Oh, I see those yellow, blue. I don't know. Ooh, no. What is the best temperature? Any photographers out there? What should my color temp be set at? Because I have noticed that when you change it a certain way, it um, looks a little, bit, a little bit more blue. But then when you go a whole lot another way, it's very yellow. I don't want to be yellow. I don't want to be blue. So what is the right setting? Okay, well, I'm going to leave it right about there. Yep, right about there. Hello, friends. How you doing? I legit was about to say Merry Christmas. That's where my head is right now. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. It's January 13th, 2020. And because I failed miserably last week at trying to keep it under 30 minutes, I'm going to try even better this week. So, I'm going to keep it short and simple while I give people time to join in if they want to join in. Um, anything going on here? Um, last week was beautiful here, like mid-50s, gorgeous. We haven't had snow since like end of October, beginning of November, and as of... Uh, this weekend, Saturday was bitterly cold with the wind. Then we had um, snow. I mean, we've only had like a dusting of snow. But the wind started on Saturday and it was awful, awful, awful wind. And if you've been around, hung around here long enough, you know that, um, talk about the wind a little bit. And hey, Bethany. And, um, the majority of Montana's weather depends on the wind. And you say a bunch of times, it'd be nice if the wind stopped. Well, it's been our one of those weekends. So, um, last week was really, really nice. Like I said, no snow since last October, beginning of November. And um, we got a little dusting this weekend. Nothing big, whatever. And then while I was at work today, um, course when I got out of the car this morning because I left the garage this morning so I didn't know if it was windy or whatever and I got out of the car this morning and that wind hit me and it was like Ooh, awful 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 and um yeah our high next couple of days is like five maybe five <laughs> yeah crazy anyway um we did get a little bit more snow today but nothing I mean, now I'm at the point, I'm like, yeah, okay, it's whatever, it's nothing. But, um, there's talking about temps back up this weekend or whatever. So, all the snow will melt off. And so, but anyways, can't complain because this winter has been very, very, very kind to us. Very mild. So, um, like I said, last week I failed miserably at trying to keep this another 30 minutes. So, I'm going to try better this week. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure... I know, I know some of y'all don't mind, and if you actually, you know, stick it out for 30 minutes, I am incredibly appreciative, but um, I know that nobody wants to hang out with me, at least here online, or on Facebook, whatever. Um, no one wants to sit on a computer staring at somebody or listening to someone talk. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Am I that, like, lovely? Okay, so, anyway, I'm going to keep talking, and I'm going to um, start tonight's martini. Yep, like I said, y'all are going to have to um, forgive me a little bit and be patient, because like I said, all of my days, the majority of my days start at 5 a.m., so um, if I am a little scattered, that's why, and um, you can't blame me. Because I'm working. And hi, Sarah! Y'all, um, Sarah has joined a few times. She is my cousin. Um, my parents' side. And, um, yeah. She's my cousin. So, hey. <laughs> this is my, um, okay. So, while I am, um, a little sleep deprived, I'll, this is also my second drink. 
So that didn't help the evening at all. Okay, <laughs> so here we go, January 13th, 2020. Okay, tonight's martini, the winter chill martini. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, it's a blue one, so that means, <sighs> y'all already know, I have a thing against blue drinks. You need two parts vodka, one part blue carousel, that's the vodka, one part, two parts vodka, one part blue carousel, one part lime juice, one part triple sec. There you go. So I'm gonna mix it up and we're gonna keep talking. Okay, so blue carousel, one part. So anyway, um, I work today. And if you are on Instagram, I shared my least favorite part of my job. For the majority, I really enjoy my job. I mean, yeah, it starts stupid butt crack early in the morning. But um, there's one, one thing I absolutely just ugh, hate about it, is signing. And if you ever think about it, when you go in to go shopping, all of those signs that tell you um, what the sale is or whatever, guess what? Somebody runs through that store and changes every single sign. And what you don't realize is, I mean, because I know I, I was I, I'm one of them, when I go into a um, store, I'm thinking a sale rotates once a week. Guess what? Most of the time, Say, um, sales are um, like we change signs out today and these sales um, run today I change the signs out today and did I change my signs out again Thursday morning because the sale changes again so what you don't realize is okay I want to make sure. What you don't realize is that a lot of times stores they're changing their sales out one, two, three times a week. So somebody is running through that store. Every single sign has to be changed. Now I've only been at this job for two months now. So and they've kind of I've, they've kind of assigned me the accessories like all of women's like purses, fashion jewelry, socks, scarves, mittens, outerwear, um, bras, sleepwear, that kind of thing. Well, we've got a girl that is out for the next month, so they gave me children's today. Holy mess, y'all! I had my, I have a cart that has all my signs and stuff on it, and they're all like organized and everything. And the thing is, every single week you get a brand new set of signs. So, um, sorting through them all and everything is just a hot mess. So, it took me five hours today to sign signs. And then we took a little 30 minute break, and then we went on to clearance. So, clearance and when I say clearance I can, um, we had a hundred and two sweaters that had to be marked clearance and when they're laying out on a table you know it's really nice when they're hanging up on a rack guess what because you can just go through and just throw the sticker on the tag but when they're laying out on a table we're supposed to you know tuck the tags that was it's all neat and presentable you have to pull the tag out put your sticker on Retuck the tag and then of course you can't just leave it there you actually have to move it to like a clearance table but in order to do that you have to size it you know um extra small to extra 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 large whatever it is oh it's a mess but no my least favorite part is signing i actually enjoy the majority of everything else the whole organizing and moving everything to um you know pulling stuff out for clearance and all that stuff i, I enjoy that but um, the signing mess, yeah, anyway. Um, yes, I want so bad, Sarah, to meet your children because, um, I mean, they're my cousins. Why not? We've had this one before, and I've said this exact same thing before. Too much lime. I'm going to go back and look it up. Because we've made this one before. 
Yep. We made this one. Ugh. Nope. I'm not gonna sit that no more. I'm going to put this aside. Okay, y'all. Like I said, I've already taken too much time. And last week I failed at trying to keep it under time. So, okay. Winter health, y'all. Right now, flu, strep, stomach bugs, you name it, fever viruses, um, it's all going around. Well, unfortunately, the husband, um, we had a plane crash here in Yellowstone County, and um, it happened late yesterday after morning, yesterday morning, and he ended up at work, and he did not get home until about 45 minutes after the game started. And then his um, weekend staff just kept calling him about various things. So he really didn't get to enjoy it the way that he usually gets to. So um, he was already kind of in a pooish mood because he had to work all day unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Unex I can't talk. And um, then, of course, you know, they lost, so that just only just kind of just dug it in even further. But um, I just told him, I said, at least they didn't lose, what was it, 28 to zero. At least they kind of, you know, made it less of an embarrassing lip loss. So at that point, I think he was just so tired and everything that he, um, yeah. But he was upset. It just was another like dagger in his day kind of thing. All right. So, winter health. Y'all, guess what? Your immune system right now is already struggling because it's working really, really hard right now to ward off all the germs around you. Your kids, people around you. Um, I mean, just anything you touch. Um, your immune system is already working really, really hard right now. So, we're going to talk things that you can do to hopefully support your immune system and ward off all the funk that's going around right now. So a lot of these are attempts to things that you can do right this second. And you got to make it a habit to um, hopefully help you out here. Okay, first of all, things to avoid or decrease to that um, things to avoid that decrease um, that do suppress your immune system. Sugar, stress, toxins, insomnia, negativity, um, antibiotics. Surprisingly, we think antibiotics are like the cure-all, but guess what? Antibiotics, guess what? They fix whatever you want fixed, but they tend to cause another issue. So, um, over-the-counter drugs, guess, same thing. They help whatever you are targeting but they tend to cause another issue. Obesity, obesity and dehydration, all those suppress the immune system. All right, things you can do to um, help your body out. I feel like this is starting, what did we talk about last week? All right, I feel like it's starting out the way we did last week. All right, um, things to do. Your cold, okay, if you're in cold temps, even if you're typically in warm temps, as soon as the temps drop, cold temps make your lungs and your heart work harder. If you think about it, when your heart works harder, guess what? Your blood pressure goes up. So, your lungs and your heart work to circulate your blood. So, what you want to do is you want to wrap up in layers. Make sure you cover up those ears. Cover up that neck. Put tons and tons of layers on. It's a whole lot easier for you to put layers on instead of wearing one big bulky layer. Because as soon as you take that one big bulky layer off, you're exposed. So um, layers is always best. Keep your house warmer. Um, hot beverages. Hot meals. My favorite. All-time favorite. Big, was it Bigelow? Bigelow. I'm sure it's like pronounced like something fancy or something. Um, mint medley. I drink a crap ton of these. And the reason why, I mean, you, I don't even keep them in a box. I have a big jar where I just 
buy a box and just dump them all in there. The mint medley, I go through a ton of them. Um, hot beverages, warm meals, have an electric blanket. Um, check your indoor um, air quality. Make sure it's not too dry. Um, use a humidifier. Now this is something that when we moved here, woo, going from humidity to no humidity, it, y'all hard boogers <laughs> is a thing. Hard boogers. <laughs> We're constantly blowing our nose like, because I mean hard boogers. Humidifier. Sometimes in the, well, already in the winter, the um, weather gets drier. So, um, you need to add moisture to your home. So when you put, put, turn on the heat, guess what? That's just making it drier. So, pull in a humidifier. That way, so it'll help bring a little bit of moisture. And of course, I need not to put too much moisture. Yeah, there is a fine line. Good insulation and ventilation. Make sure you're getting enough sun, especially morning sun. Um, it helps with vitamin D, seasonal affective disorder, disorder. and um, melatonin is the key ingredient in making sure you get good sleep. Well, you get that from sun. So, good morning sun helps regulate that melatonin production. That way so you can actually go to sleep at night. Um, stay active. House plants are really good. Um, they naturally improve your air quality. Please, 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 please look at your bath, body, and cleaning products. Guess what? They do more harm than good. If you're not using all natural plant-based products, they're probably doing more harm than good. If you're not sure how they're doing, go on to the Think. You can download the Think Dirty app on your phone. Think Dirty. Think. Think. Not think like thank you. Think like brain. I think that's the southern enemy. But um, they have a rating scale, dirty, they call it a dirty meter, where, um, in I mean, you essentially want, I don't think you can see really well there, um, you want zero to three. That's the best. Eight to ten is the worst. So um, I, for the longest, was using, and I still have them because, like I said in the past, I have a hard, hard issue, hard problem with throwing away things I've spent money for. And even though I don't use it, for some reason, I still can get rid of it. Um, I've been buying the Suave deodorant, and I already knew it had fragrance. And um, so I scanned it in the Think Dirty app. And it has talc, fragrance, BHT. But anyway, it is an 8. And they sit there and it lists all the ingredients. And it's just a synopsis. It's not even a full list. It's just a general idea. And then... I had swapped to Arm and Hammer deodorant, and without thinking about it, because usually I use the ones that are unscented, um, but I swapped to Arm and Hammer because it did not have aluminum in it. Aluminum is a huge cancer causing. Because think about it, you're putting it right on your lymph nodes. Aluminum is a trigger for cancer. Anyway, so I scanned it and guess what? It didn't have the BHT and talc, but it has the fragrance. And fragrance, again, is what is a cancer-causing thing. It's still an eight. So I kind of got slapped in the face there, like, duh. And then just out of curiosity, I tan. I scanned my Castile soap, my Dr. Bronner's um, Castile soap. Guess what? It's zero. Perfect. And that's what I use most of the time for cleaning. And I even make my own face wash with that. So, um, yeah. ThinkDirtyApp.com. Download it and just start scanning your stuff and see how it goes. If you want ideas or if you need um, suggestions for what to use, guess what? I'm here to help. Message. Okay. Um, and, of course, I'm... I would, I would be stupid not to mention, um, I'm with Young Living, the cleaner is the best. It's um, plant-based, but it's got lemon and clove, cinnamon, all good stuff in it. It feels scary. And it smells like Christmas. And your dogs and your kids can look at the floor and you don't have to worry about anything happening.
go. I, um, make sure you're getting in the minutes for sleep. Plan for it. Little sleep equals higher stress and value levels. Your team, know what to expect. When you know what to expect, less stress. Um, your Clean your home, desk, car more often. Carpets and your fabrics hold on to. Think about it. They act as like an air filter. They absorb dirt and germs. Germs can linger for up to eight hours. So make sure you're cleaning it more often. Um, your door. Make sure you have doormats so they can catch dirt and mud. I've posted this morning last week. Change your toothbrushes. When someone's been sick, if you've been sick, if you've been traveling, change your toothbrushes. Then also, just clean out the toothbrush holder. Yep. Big old germ spots right there. Little things, I mean, it makes a difference. Um, clean, sanitize your lunch boxes, your backpacks, something that, um, I had not thought about it. There's somebody at work that says it's only cold, but they've been fucking off about three weeks. And if it's cold, guess what? It's only going to last eight to ten um, days. If it's a true cold, it's only going to last about eight to ten days at the most. So what you're going to do is you need to make sure you are doing something to disinfect yourself. So sanitizing wipes, whatever. Wipe down your purses, your lunch boxes, your backpacks, whatever. That way, so you are keeping it away from your home. Um, change your clothes when you get home, especially children. I know that I already do it. The minute that I come home, I'm stripping off as I'm walking in the door. Because guess what? When I'm at home, I want to wear my pajamas. But also, anybody that I've come in contact with, I don't want to bring their funk into my house. So I'm changing. Kids, guess what? They just sit in their classroom all day. The minute they come in their house, they're bringing the, all of their classroom's germs into your home. So, especially if you have other children, it's the best thing you can do. Put them into play clothes, change them that way so they're hopefully not um, transmitting all that funk, you know, into the house. Um, trim your nails down. Some, this is one I actually didn't think about. I've always prided myself on having, you know, nails that grow very um, quickly and they're very thick. But with the job, I've cut them down because as I'm opening up boxes and constantly, you know, doing, they constantly break. So um, I've kept them trimmed down. But funk gets all up under there. Keep them trimmed down. Um, food. Eat more seasonal veg veggies and fruits. Nature knows best. The reason why it's seasonal is because it's at its prime um, for nutrients. Eat more protein, less carbs. It's easier to digest protein and there's less sugar. Uh, focus on your portion control, more plant-based. Um, water. Drink half of your body weight. Right here. Write your body weight down right now. Divide it in two. That's how many ounces of water you should be drinking. I've shared this before. Get yourself a couple of big glasses. You're supposed to drink eight ounces of water, um, or eight glasses of water a day. Um, if you need to make a water tracker, you can go on to Google, type in water tracker, and hit the images tab, and easily copy and paste something into Word, print it off, and you can have a water tracker where as, as you drink eight ounces, you can fill in the little drops, whatever. Um, what I do 
is I kind of write out my planner for the day and write out what I need to do today. And I just do like three water drops because I think it's simple for me. Drinking eight bottles to me seems like a ton. So what I do is I'm like, okay, I only need to drink two of these today. So I want to make my goal three. So I just do three little drops there. And as I drink a full one, I fill it in. I, of course, I'm a little bit more, whatever, a little bit less. But um, that's where I am right now. So once I finish this before I go to bed tonight, guess what? I have drank more than I need for my day. And I've already started for tomorrow. So make it easy for yourself. Um, do a water tracker or something like that. Um, decrease your amount of caffeine, soda, sugar. Don't be a hero. If you're sick, stay home, especially if you're running a fever. You need to um, be fever free for 24 hours before returning to work, um, especially children. Stay social. We tend to stay home more in the winter. So getting out, the days are shorter, so we need to get out more and um, be social that way. So it um, brings our spirits up a little bit more. Um, use essential oils to naturally support your body. My favorites are lemon, oregano, thieves, frankincense, tea tree, peppermint, diffuse, apply, topical, let's see, topically, you know, there's so many different ways you can use them. But seriously, I can count on one hand, one hand how many times I've been sick in the past five years. It's all because of those. Um, act fast if you begin to feel symptoms. The sooner you begin treatment, guess what? The quicker you're more likely to feel better. And it will lessen the severity of the symptoms and the pain. Um, I did not bring it down with me. I did forget something. Have a wellness arsenal. This is something I just came across um, a couple of months ago. Have a wellness arsenal ready. This is a little bucket. I mean, you can have a bin. I mean, I have a smaller bin or whatever. But um, have a bin or a bucket of something that you store everything you need in there um, that you like to have when you don't feel well. Because think about it. Most of the time... When it happens, guess what? It's in the middle of the night. The last thing you want to do is get up and go to the store. Or if you get home in the middle of the day, guess what? You don't want to go to the store. So, fill a wellness ar arsenal, a bin, whatever, of a thermometer, a medicines, um, your tissues, your chapsticks, your favorite soups, your teas, um, cough drops, saline sprays, neti pots, heating pad, all the stuff that you like to have on hand when you don't feel well. That way, so when you come to that moment, guess what? You don't have to give and leave the house. You have everything right there. Super simple. Um, a couple of things. Flu, guess what? There's no cure. If you come down with the flu, you got the flu. There's nothing you can do. But... I mean, it's viral. There's nothing you can do. If you go to the doctor, guess what? They're going to say, hey, you got to let it run its course. We're going to give you some medicine. The only thing that medicine is going to do is lessen the symptoms and hopefully lessen the time you spend sick. There's no cure for the flu. They can't give you antibiotics for flu. It's not going to do nothing for you. Um, it's going to relieve your pain. It's going to relieve, you know, how you feel. But, um... Sorry, that's it. Um, antibiotics over the counter medicine, they alleviate symptoms, they lessen the time you spend sick. Good hygiene is the best way to avoid getting sick. If you get sick, keep it up. Hopefully it will lessen the time you spend sick. Avoid sick people, wash your hands, cover your mouth, avoid large groups. If you're traveling, guess what? It's probably going to happen. Um, last but not least, because it is right before 6 o'clock. Um, all medications are not created equal. If you go to Walmart, wherever to buy medication, just because you think you have a cold and you buy cold medication doesn't mean it's the right medication for you. Um, there's cold, there's flu, there's allergies, there's coughs, there's pain. You can talk to a pharmacist. 
Tell them your symptoms and they will guide you to the right medication. They're there for you. Talk to the pharmacist. Um, look at the main ingredients on the packaging um, and see what they help. Cold and flu medications, guess what? Probably won't help with just the stuff you know. Because the stuff you know is maybe from allergies. So you can go online and you can, I mean, this is something I pulled up real quick, but you got antihistamines, you got aspirin, you've got cough medications, cold medications, you got pain, you got fever, you got decongestants. Guess what? They all serve different purposes. So um, if you go and you buy cold and flu medications and you see that it says stuffy nose, headache, pain, you know, body aches or whatever, guess what? It could be a cold, but it also could be allergies. It could be the start of flu. If you buy that medication, it, it may not help because you're treating the wrong thing. So make sure that you are really looking at the medication. Look at the main ingredients. Um, I know that it begins with D, D, dip, 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 mine or whatever is uh, the main ingredient in Benadryl. It's an antihistamine. It's not gonna help with um, cold flu. Sorry. Um, Pseudoephedrine is a decongestant. It's not going to help with allergies as much. So make sure you are buying the medication that works specifically. So when you go, look at the main ingredients that are on the back. Do a quick little Google search to see exactly what they help and make sure that they are um, helping the um, symptoms that you want relief from. Just like that. And because I'm tipsy, I'm gonna say what? Is that a mic drop? Probably not. Yep. There's no one here. So it's just me and myself and I. And I can sit here and say whatever I want because I'm by myself. <laughs> anyway, um, it's 602, which means that I managed to get a crap ton said in like no time. See, y'all, whoo, I wrote all this down to say, and I just said it all, just like that. Just like that, whoo, into the dog's dish. I'm not a basketball person, but that just hit the dog's water dish. So I'll get that out in a minute. All right, oh, oh. okay, never mind. Next week, next Monday night, um, I need your help because I originally had a plan for um, a winter wreath and as I started trying to find the supplies, I discovered it was not as simple as I thought. So if you have an idea for a quick and simple winter wreath that we can do next Monday night, I would love your help. Please send me your ideas. Um, and we're gonna start with the snowflake martini. So next Monday night, snowflake martinis and a quick and simple winter wreath if we can find one. If not, we will figure something out. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube. Like them, love them, share them. See more ideas. Love y'all dearly. See y'all next week. Bye.